guys, Rachel here from IPAS. Today, I'm going to announce who's the lucky winner of my precious dream catcher. So, I picked the name yesterday and the lucky winner is... Drumroll, please! It's... Laika Melendo. Mom Laika, you are the winner of this dream catcher and we will just communicate with you and you are going to send this to your location so guys how's your 2019 so far ours in IPAS it's quite busy for the whole week because you know it's post holiday so we are taking a lot we are taking care of a lot of applications and one of these applications that we are uh, processing for is the data, data flow so stay tuned throughout this uh, vlog because I'm going to also give you another giveaways so in this vlog I'm going to discuss to you what data flow is all about so let's start so data flow is a very fa very fine company what they do is that they will verify your credentials and in all Middle East exam applications, um, Dataflow is included in that. For example, that you want to apply for Abu Dhabi, so this uh, Dataflow is prerequisite for you to be able to be approved for the examination. For DHA, which stands for Dubai Health Authority, this data flow as well is included and we are going to do that in the step 2 procedure. First is we're going to have your documents uh, approved during the credentialing procedure and then we pay for the data flow and then we will be able to schedule you for the examination once you already have your eligibility, eligibility number. For Saudi, it's another procedure apart from the requisition of your eligibility number in Qatar. It's also another procedure. It's not a prerequisite for you to have your data flow before you will be approved for the examination. And for Oman, it's the same. It's another procedure. You don't need to have the data flow first before you will be allowed for the uh, for the examination so you can either do data flow first or exam first and for the HCA as well as MOH applications it's also needed for example the data flow has already done the verification of your documents what they will do is that they will issue your data flow report and then in this data flow report, there is the verification. There will be the verification of your school, the license, as well as your um, facility where you are working. So, question number one why data flow will need the verification of my documents? The purpose of data flow is to check whether your documents are authentic or not because there had been a lot of cases wherein the medical professionals submitted fake documents so for example that the licensing authority will be able to know that your documents are not authentic so you might be blacklisted in that certain country recently there had been a lot of cases in saudi arabia where medical professionals were blacklisted because of those inauthentic documents so never 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 ever fake your documents or else your employment will be compromised so the primary purpose of data flow is to check whether your documents are authentic or not so question number two what documents that data flow will verify so they will check for the authenticity of this following documents so first is that uh, we, we are going to submit your school credentials number two they are going to check for your license and then three your good standing certificate and fourth one is your certificate of employment so what they will do is that for example you are going to submit your documents to IPAS so IPAS will be the one who will process your documents and we submit this documents to Dataflow now upon the receipt of your documents Dataflow will issue you a receipt and then after that they will start the verification of your documents so what they will specifically do is that they're going to email or call or 
send a verification document to that certain facility. For the facility, I'm referring to the hospital. Also, they will send, call, or uh, they will email, I mean, they will email, call, or send the verification document to the licensing authority and also to your school. So for the licensing authority, for example, that we submitted your PRC license, so they're going to verify that. For example, we submitted to them another license. Um, say, for example, we submitted your Saudi license or Kuwait license or Qatar license. So they will ask for the verification. Question number three, how long will the verification of my documents? The, uh, the verification of your documents will usually take 30 to 35 working days. There are some times that the verification will be done even prior 30 to 35 working days, but usually it will not exceed to the 30, it will not exceed more than 35 days. Question number four, is there an expiration to my data flow report? According to data flow, there is no expiration for your data flow report. So it's still, it will still be used if ever that you are going to apply in another country. Question number five, can I update my data flow report? So say for example, you had your data flow report, but the date on the upper left portion is that it was verified 2000, last 2016. So if ever that your recruitment agency will ask you for an updated data flow report, then we are just going to update it through submission of your recent certificate of employment. So what you need to do is that you're going to submit to us, to IPAS, your previous data flow report and then along with the other requirements that we will ask from you and then we are going to submit the latest certificate of employment so that your data flow report will be updated the next question is can i transfer my data flow report i have already discussed it previously in my previous vlog that yes your data flow report can be transferred to another licensing authority but it will be subject for it will be subject to transfer fees so for example you want your HAAD data flow report to be transferred to Qatar data flow report, then it can be. And also, you can update your latest documents if you want along with the transfer of your data flow report. And the last question is, can I skip doing data fl the data flow? No, unfortunately, you cannot skip uh, the verification of your credentials because it is a must that your credentials will be checked for its authenticity whether it's real or you just made those those documents so it's also for the safety as well of your future uh, future patients that indeed you have this um this license and you really worked you really had that previous experience in that certain facility that you had so it's as well for the safety of your patients so how does this data flow report will look like this is how your data flow report will look like it will come in this uh in this form so you have here the data Mm, you have here the data, your name, and then your reference number, and then it says here for which licensing authority, whether in Qatar, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Saudi, Oman. So, it will on the first page you have there. This is uh, the example. This one is for the Abu Dhabi data flow report. So it will be written here that they had verified your education, which uh, which is school you graduated and then uh, the remarks here is that it's verified so the next one will be the verification of your license for example we submitted your prc so your details here will be indicated your license number and then the issuance of your prc license or other license and then the remarks will be verified the next one will be the verification of your good standing certificate so it will be stated also here the license number that you had and then the issuance of your good standing certificate and the last one is for the verification of your employment so it will be stated here which hospital you worked 
and also when is the starting date of your employment and are you still currently working so or have you ended your uh, employment there and the remarks will be verified or unable to verify or they have any other remarks whatever the result will be on their verification so the remarks here is that no the derogatory records found so it means to say that you had your positive data flow i believe those are the important points that you need to know regarding your data flow if you still have other concerns you can send us a message through our facebook page that's ipas processing all or also you can visit us through our website that's www.ipasprocessing.com our support team will be with you of course if you have any other clarifications okay now for the giveaways because I told you that at the end of this video I'll be giving you a giveaway so I'll let you know what will be our giveaway so for your giveaways I will give you your new duty bag you can use this as your duty bag or a travel bag or whatever purpose it may serve you so this one is your new duty bag from night so it's a green bag it's a green backpack and it comes with or pen pouch so along with this bag that I will give you you will also have your iPad showcase so your iPad showcase will be pencil your sticky notes this one the green and the orange one you have your colored markers you have your highlighters your index cards your ball pens your colored papers you might want to use this for your laboratory values and I choose this I chose this colors because it's attractive to the eyes and they say that orange is uh, it it's good for studying and this one the yellow and also your record book during my review I use I think three of these record books so I bought you two and of course this book which will be source of your inspiration it's the uh, the title of this book is never give up i hope this will be very useful for you so if you want to get those giveaways that i have mentioned to you all those will be yours so the rules will be the following so first is that you are going to like our ipas processing facebook page Second rule is that you are going to write your name on the comment section down below and share this video. And the last one is that you are going to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is iPass Processing. This um, video will run for three weeks and then I'm going to choose again a name for whoever will be the lucky winner of this iPass Showcase and for the night back duty bag. So thank you so much for your time and I hope the information that I have given you will be helpful will be helpful for you as you are going to apply for your data flow. Thank you very much and God bless. Keep smiling. Bye.